Hello, good evening or good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. My name is Dr. Yulia Waters and I'm the owner of the new bookstore that opened in Belfont, Delaware. And the bookstore's name is The Phoenix and the Owl. And we have a wonderful store full of children's books and adult books. And today I just wanted to introduce to you one book it's a children's book that I have in my section for very young readers. And the idea to introduce you all these books came from the fact that I realized that there's so many different children's books and parents always looking for ways to engage their children, but also to share some meaningful life stories with their children and maybe build some values and some memories with their children. And so the book that I chose to introduce to you tonight is Our Table by Peter Reynolds. And it has a beautiful cover and it talks about the family table, the dinner table. And I'm going to read to you some of the um, words that he shared here in this book. It's a, it's a beautiful book for very young children with uh, beautiful illustrations. And it's about a little girl. Uh, her name is Violet. And it starts as Violet fondly remembered the table. And she looks at a very small picture of the table. She remembered gathering food preparing the table, cooking meals, lighting candles. So many stories, laughter, singing, celebrating, sharing, making memories together. And you can see all of those illustrations here about all these wonderful memories that family was able to bring and make together while sharing meals preparation and sharing their food at this wonderful table. Recently though, Violet found herself alone at the table. Her family had become busy, very busy. They had found new places to be. And look at this little girl, she's sitting by herself at the table. Very sad. Violet found her father in his favorite chair in front of a big screen, bigger than Violet. Look at that. She found her mother on the staircase, chatting silently on her phone. Look at that. And what happens next? Violet found her brother in his room, playing games with friends she could not see. Here we go. Feeling quite alone, Violet dreamed of a time when family and friends would gather at the table. Here's the little girl. And what happened next? Walking by the room where their quiet table stood, Violet did a double take. She noticed something had changed. Their table was smaller. <gasps> Look at that. The next day it had become even smaller. By the end of the week, the table had shrunk so much that it fit easily into the palm of her hand. What a disaster. While it blinked, the table vanished. Violet knew exactly what she had to do. She asked her father to watch a show about carpentry together, and they did.
Violet asked her mother to write a message and post it to see who knew how to build a table. And they did. She asked her brother to use his computer to help draw out the plan together. And they did. Violet was ready. She asked her family to build a table together. And they did. When they were done, Violet posed to marvel at their creation, a place to come together to share stories once again, a table to make memories. The table stronger, more beautiful than ever, and it was. Isn't it wonderful? This story is so nice. Just one person took an initiative, reached out and made the change in the family. It also talks about sharing memories, building memories together. I hope you can share this and many stories with your children and with each other. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.